Good morning. So good morning everyone and very warm welcome to morning prayer on Maundy Thursday. Lovely to see you all. Um, we'll dive straight in. O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall your praise. Let your ways be known upon earth. Your saving power among the nations. Among the nations. Yes, indeed, Lord God of our salvation, to you be praise and glory forever. As a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, your only son was lifted up, that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross and always be ready to share its weight, declaring your love for all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God. Blessed be God the night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Amen. So Psalm 42, um, Sue Riley, would you like to help me with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where is now your God? Now when I think on these things, I pour out my soul. How I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God. With the voice of praise and thanksgiving mm -hmm. among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O oh my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? O oh, put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. My soul is heavy within me, therefore I will remember you from the land of Jordan, and from Hermon and the hill of Mitzar. Deep caused a deep in the thunder of your waterfalls, all your breakers and waves have gone over me. The Lord will grant his loving kindness in the daytime, through the night his son will be with me. A prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? And why go I so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? As they crush my bones, my enemies mock me. While all day long they say to me, where is now your God? Why are you so full of heaviness, O oh my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Oh, put your trust in God. For I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now and now and forever. Amen. So, um, yes, you can um, imagine people passing the cross and saying to Jesus, Where is now your God? Yeah, really. It's quite a powerful psalm to read mm. in Holy Week, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Um, any thoughts about this psalm? Has that beautiful first verse, doesn't it? Mm. Um, yeah. As the deer longs for the water, mm. so my soul, so longs my soul for you, O oh God. Yeah. Mm. All right, good. Okay. And, it's just, and it's just pointing us to the fact that what, no matter what our situation, that we could, God is with us, even though we may not feel like that in, the, in our current experiences, but we could always call to him and he does hear us and he provides that support and, and grace for us to, to bear. Very true, Jenny. Very true. Yes. Yeah. And, and although he's, he's full of heaviness and... and downcast actually he's remembering the good times the, yes yeah he's calling yes. he's recalling the good times it's what we yeah. can do isn't it you know yeah. he's actually remember his his faithfulness and goodness to us okay um we have a, a very long passage from leviticus i'm not sure <laughs> I'm given that today so oh, i'm glad i read the psalm <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> Leslie, would you like to read that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> You've got a short straw. You, no, I was just going to say, you cut me off. You were talking about mm. recalling the good times. And I, on the tip of my tongue, I was going to say, well, actually, I know a lot of good times right now. And now I'm beginning to wonder if I could even have thought that. <laughs> well, you can share it if you like. Why don't you... No, I, I'm happy to read it. Oh, <laughs> and, uh, you probably, I shouldn't be there. <laughs> Leviticus. Mm. 16, 2 to 24. The Lord said to Moses, tell your brother Aaron not to come just at any time into the sanctuary inside the curtain before the mercy seat that is upon the ark, or he will die. For I appear in the cloud upon the mercy seat. Thus shall Aaron come into the holy place with a young bull for a sin offering, and a ram for a burnt offering. He shall put on the holy linen tunic and shall have the linen undergarments next to his body, fasten the linen sash and wear the linen turban. These are the holy vestments. He shall bathe his body in water and then put them on. He shall take from the congregation of the people of Israel two male goats for a sin offering and one ram for a burnt offering. Aaron shall offer the bull as a sin offering for himself and shall make atonement for himself and for his house. He shall take the two goats and set them before the Lord at the entrance of the tent of meeting. And Aaron shall cast lots on the two goats, one lot for the Lord and the other lot for Azazel. Aaron shall present the goat on which the lot fell for the Lord and offer it as a sin offering. But the goat on which the lot fell for Azazel shall be presented alive before the Lord to make atonement over it, so that it may be sent away into the wilderness to Azazel. Aaron shall present the bull as a sin offering for himself and shall make atonement for himself and for his house. He shall slaughter the bull as a sin offering for himself. He shall take a censer full of coals of fire from the altar before the Lord and two handfuls of crushed sweet incense. And he shall bring it inside the curtain and put the incense on the fire before the Lord so that the cloud of the incense may cover the mercy seat that is upon the covenant or he will die. He shall take some of the blood of the bull and sprinkle it with his finger on the front of the mercy seat. And before the mercy seat, he shall sprinkle the blood with his finger seven times. He shall slaughter the goat of the sin offering, that is for the people, and bring its blood inside the curtain, and do with its blood as he did with the blood of the bull, sprinkling it upon the mercy seat and before the mercy seat. Thus he shall make atonement for the sanctuary because of the uncleanness of the people of Israel and because of their transgressions, all their sins. And so he shall do for the tent of meeting, which remains with them in the midst of their uncleannesses. No one shall be in the tent of meeting from the time he enters to make atonement in the sanctuary until he comes out and has made atonement for himself and for his house and for all the assembly of Israel. Then he shall go out to the altar that is before the Lord and make atonement on its behalf and shall take some of the blood of the bull and of the blood of the goat and put it on each of the horns of the altar. He shall sprinkle some of the blood on it with his finger seven times and cleanse it and hallow it from the uncleanness of the people of Israel. When he has finished atoning for the holy place and the tent of the meeting and the altar, he shall present the live goat. Then Aaron shall lay both his hands on the head of the live goat and confess over it all the iniquities of the people of Israel and all their transgressions, all their sins, putting them on the head of the goat and sending it away into the wilderness by means of someone designated for the task. The goat shall bear on itself all their iniquities to a barren region, and the goat shall be set free in the wilderness. 
then Aaron shall enter the tent of the meeting and shall take off the linen vestments that he put on when he went into the holy place and shall leave them there. He shall bathe his body in water in a holy place and put on his vestments that he shall come out. Then he shall come out and offer his burnt offering and the burnt offering of the people, making atonement for himself and for the people. Okay, thank you, Leslie. Well, it was actually quite an interesting passage because this describes the ritual of the Day of Atonement that uh, the Jewish people observed. And um, you can see some parallels with what Jesus sees himself doing on the cross here. Yeah? So mm -hmm. he's got this um, practice of having a scapegoat really a goat on which all the sins are laden and he's sent out into the wilderness to die yeah? um so to kind of deal with the sin of israel yeah and they do this once a year the high priest goes through this ritual um so you can see how Jesus sees himself being the sacrifice that brings this to an end, that it's a sacrifice once and for all, for the sins of the world. And it's linking in to this practice of, you know, how, this, how do we deal with sin? Yeah, how can yeah. we be released from sin? Um, this is their practice, yeah. Any any thoughts about this? And also Martin pointing to the fact that because he came, they no longer had to do that because he is the ultimate sacrifice. Yes. For us. And our and our redeemer basically. Yes. Yes, absolutely. But also there's elements of him being that scapegoat, having to take oh, on, yes. having to take on that shame as well yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 christ fulfills both elements of uh the atonement sacrifice mm. Mm. Yeah. yes you're right yeah giving so, uh, giving his life and taking on the yeah. sin yeah. Mm. Yeah. taking on the the goat that is sent into the wilderness but also the, so, uh, the, the bloodletting of the first yeah absolutely yeah okay so good to have read that passage um thank you leslie um we are continuing to read the passion narrative according to luke um john graham do you want to read that passage okay um luke uh 23 1 to 25 then the assembly rose as a body and brought jesus before pilate they began to accuse him, saying, We found this man perverting our nation, forbidding us to pay taxes to the emperor, and saying that he himself is the Messiah, a king. Then Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? He answered, You say so. Then Pilate said to the chief priests and the crowd, I find no basis for an accusation against this man. But they were insistent and said, He stirs mm -hmm. up the people by teaching throughout all Judea from Galilee, where he began even to this place. When Pilate heard this, he asked whether the man was a Galilean. And when he learned that he was under Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him off to Herod, who was himself in Jerusalem at that time. When Herod saw Jesus, he was very glad, for he had been wanting to see him for a long time, because he had heard about him and was hoping to see him perform some sign. He questioned him at length, but Jesus gave him no answer. The chief priests and the scribes stood by, vehemently accusing him. Even Herod, with his soldiers, treated him with contempt and mocked him. Then he put an elegant robe on him and sent him back to Pilate. That same day, Herod and Pilate became friends with each other. Before this, they had been enemies. Pilate then called together the chief priests, the leaders and the people and said to them, you brought me this man who is one as one who is perverting the people. And here I have examined him in your presence 
and have not found this man guilty of any of your charges against him. Neither has Herod, for he sent him back to us. Indeed, he has done nothing to deserve death. I will therefore have him flogged and release him. Then they all shouted out together, Away with this fellow, release Barabbas for us. This was a man who had been put in prison for an insurrection that had taken place in the city and for murder. Pilate, wanting to release Jesus, addressed them again, but they kept shouting, Crucify, crucify him. A third time he said to him, Why, what evil has he done? I found in him no ground for the sentence of death. I would therefore have him flogged and then release him. But they kept urgently demanding with loud shouts that he should be crucified, and their voices prevailed. So Pilate gave his verdict that their demand should be granted. He released the man they asked for, the one who had been put in prison for insurrection and murder, and he handed Jesus over as they wished. Thank you. So it's kind of worse than an, just an innocent man being condemned. You've got this guilty man being released, yeah, uh, yeah. alongside, haven't you? Um, yeah. Interesting that um, people that became <clears throat> people that were enemies became friends. <clears throat> so Herod and Pilate um, that day basically yeah they were united in wanting to get rid of jesus yeah mm -hmm. they had a common <laughs> mission oh, poor jesus yeah exactly paul yes um, jesus is a good man. i've never thought of it before but it was herod's sign wasn't it herod's so, you know, Herod said he, he'd wanted to see a sign. A oh, yes. Healing yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah. But in a sense, in a quirky kind of way, that was the sign. Yeah. Pilate and Herod became friends. Yes. I mean, it's also interesting that at this point, Jesus is handing himself over, mm. uh, giving up his power. He doesn't try to impress Herod. He doesn't no. do a few miracles to just um you know get herod on his side yeah he is just mm. passive he is handing himself over to and if you have ever and actually if someone is in that it's more frustrating for people like herod or mm. Pilate if someone is silent mm. Mm. you know we know that from people who protest silently that's more irksome to um, society than if they make shouts and cry and all the rest of it. Somehow it's quite threatening silence. Mm, mm, I think you're or right. can be. Yeah. Yeah, there's a power also, in silence. Yeah. And also Jesus knew that Pilate wasn't really interested. He didn't really believe him anyway. He just wanted to have a physical, maybe something to just talk about. But he had no real belief in Christ, who Christ was. So he just ignored him, basically. He didn't concede to his fanciful wishes. Mm. Mean Harry. Yes. All right, let's scroll down then and do the responsory. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy, holy cross. cross. You have, you have redeemed the world. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. We adore you, Lord Christ, Christ, and we bless, and we bless you. you. We preach Christ crucified, the power of God and the wisdom of God. By your holy cross, cross, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. We adore, we adore you, Lord Christ, Christ, and we bless you, bless you. by your holy cross, 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 cross and in the, the world. So let's pray. Lord, uh, we thank you for this holy day um, where we continue our reflections on what Jesus has done for us and that image today of the scapegoat taking on all the sins of the people and 
This is um, a picture of Jesus on the cross, taking on our sins, taking on the sins of the world um, to bring us redemption. We thank you, Lord, uh, for that sacrifice. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Praying for those who suffer, uh, praying for you, Jenny, for release of your pain, for Christopher and Vivian Golis, Sati Ganani, Evelyn Hannah, Sean Hunt, Pete Jadhav, Maureen Kelly, Anna Lee, Susan Rigby, Betty Seaman, John Walton, and Dia Sharma. Also continuing to pray for your sister Jenny, for Gillian. Thank you. Lord, bring healing and hope and courage and comfort in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We pray for all those who can come out from shielding as of today, mm -hmm. that they may use that opportunity to praise you, Lord, and to worship during this Easter time, acknowledging you as their saviour. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord, that you took on the frailties of all of us and that you still love us, Lord. Mm. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your sacrifice that you which you give the ultimate sacrifice to us, that we could have a relationship with you and we could be redeemed from our sins. Lord, we thank you that we have the opportunity, Lord, to walk with you every day and to praise your name and to glorify your name and also, Lord, to reflect your grace in our lives. So we thank you, Lord, for this absolute privilege you have afforded us by your great sacrifice. So we thank you for your peace and we, Lord, we look forward to the blessings you, you have afforded us for this day. This is my prayer of thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and suffer death upon the cross, grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 So let's use the contemporary version of the Lord's Prayer, standing at the foot of the cross, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, Amen. hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Give us our sins. We forgive them. We does not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, power, and glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. May Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen.